Today, I'm working for my man Jay, out-of-state investor. And Jay, we're going to be looking at Elyria, Ohio. It's in the Cleveland market, right? A lot of people love this market, Cleveland, Elyria, big-time cash flow. We're going to be doing a bird deal. But it's not like a regular bird deal, bro. We're not going to try to get in, renovate it quickly. No. We're going to get in, hold it, because there's an existing tenant. Under market value, way under market value uh, rents are coming in. And the property itself, it's not beautiful, bro. But it's going to make money. It still makes money today. And that is going to allow you to make a bunch of money in the short term and then eventually do a refinance and get it all back down the road, right? So it's like it's like a bird deal on steroids, bro, except for the steroids don't make you go quick. They're, it's like a turtle on steroids. So, like, you're still walking really slow, but, like, you, you could pick shit up, like heavy shit, like, like, like fucking piles of cash. Let's go. I am James Wise, and I am here to help you make money i'm gonna be running the numbers on a real deal you want to be here yeah we're gonna go out of state but of course you know my team's gonna take care of that let's check it out welcome to the show y'all the mls search and analysis show right i find properties that i think are mad dope and I analyze them, bring them, discuss them with you, right? And this one, don't look like much, man. It, it does not look like much. But this little guy right here, this is a mad dope earner, okay? This is going to be a mad dope earner, right? This, this little cat is just a tiny, teeny weeny little house. And as you can tell, it, it's kind of crummy looking. It's it's going to have a ton of deferred maintenance, right? And you could just tell all that just based on the exterior, right? The grass hasn't been cut in forever. You got all this junk growing up on the back of the house. There's dings up in the aluminum siding. That roof doesn't look too hot, right? Probably going to need to put a new roof onto this sucker. I mean, like, like look at that, right? But that's okay. All this jazz... This is going to be good for our strategy, for what we're trying to do here, right? The fact that this thing looks crummy and ugly is okay. I got a plan, and I think that plan is going to make some money multiple ways, right? The address is 108 Rush Street, Elyria. It's been on the market almost a whole month now. Price at $39,999. Now, this is something that we're going to make money off of utilizing the burr strategy but we're going to do it a little different right we're going to stretch this burr out as far as it can go why because we got a tenant in there okay what's the inside of that unit look like i don't know probably amazing i'm just kidding it probably looks like all hell did you see what the outside of it looks like it looks terrible outside the listing agent didn't get us pictures of the inside probably looks like garbage if i had to guess it probably smells like your grandpa is smoking four packs of marble reds in a freaking recliner that he hasn't got off of all day while he's watching prices right right okay that's probably what this thing smells like smells like tv dinners nicotine and sadness okay that's what it smells like i can tell all all of that, folks, just by looking at the outside of this. But that's okay because we're going to make a lot of money off of that. Here's the deal. They have a tenant in there who's a month-to-month -month tenant paying 500 bucks a month. I assure you the inside of the property looks as I just described, nicotine and sadness, okay? The outside looks rough. We want to eventually burr this out. We want to set this up where we burr this out, and I believe the ARV on it's going to be about 75 k but we don't need to do that today. It would make no sense to do that today. Instead, we want to collect the existing cash flow, okay? They're offering this to us all for $39,999. I don't think anybody in their right mind is paying $40,000 for this. This thing's probably going to sit, okay? But I believe we stand a very good chance of picking it up if we could pick it up at a discounted rate, we're going to make a ton of money. I would like to pick it up at $28,000, okay? If we pick it up at $28,000, eventually we're going to want to put about thirty-five dollars into this so we could burr it out, right? Having us be all in at $63,000, okay? But that's eventually. I do not want to do that immediately. The plan of attack should not be to buy it for twenty-eight dollars cash, boot out the long-term tenant who's been there paying 500 and then drop 35k we should not do that that does not make any sense in fact we want to do the opposite of that for right now we want to buy it at 28k cash this person's paying 500 they're a month-to-month -month tenant this is Elyria, ohio we don't have rent control 
all we need to do is issue a 30-day notice for a rental increase. The market rent on this property, guys, the market rent on this thing is $9.95, okay? So that could be $11,940 a year. Market rent, nice little two-bed in Elyria, Ohio. Nine ninety five. Also, it's a Lyria, Ohio. It's in the Cleveland market, but it's not actually the city of Cleveland. So you know what that means? You don't got to deal with lead paint certifications that the uh, increasingly liberal Cle Cleveland housing uh, laws and, and the government over there is like putting in place, right? They're you know making things a little bit more difficult on Cleveland landlords than they have been in years past. You don't deal with that in Lyria. Lyria is much more landlord friendly, right? So the plan of attack here. Buy the property. Try to get a steep discount. 28K. Issue, Mr. Tenant here, a 30-day uh, notice, increasing his rent. Do I think we should go all the way up to 995? No, because essentially that'd be just like coming in and being like, yo, get out, and then we're going to drop 35K into it immediately. I don't think that makes any sense. I think what makes sense is to continue that cash flow, but 500 isn't really enough, right? We're going to need more than 500 because if it's operating at only $500 a month in rent, it's actually cash flow negative, right? Uh, if you look at the chart here, I have the fixed and variable expense estimates, okay? And I guess technically, uh, if we're we're running at uh, 500 bucks, I guess technically it would cash flow. What would that be like? 80, 85 dollars a month, 84 dollars a month, something like that. But I believe we can get much more, right? Because our our total expenses, fixed and variable expense estimates, are going to be about like 416 for the month, right? So I guess technically at 500 cash flows, but we need a little bit bigger uh, of a gap, right? So what I would recommend we do, we come in and be like, hey, Mr. Guy. Uh, we're going to increase your rent to like 700 right? And then hopefully that person stays. And then we're just going to continue collecting that 700 collecting that 700 collecting that 700 If we can collect 700 off of this cat for like two, three years, and we don't have to do any renovations. That's great. Let's continue to do that. No need to create artificial turnovers. And the following year, increase the rent again a small amount. And then increase the rent again a small amount, right? Maybe you just keep it at 700 for a little while, right? Because you know at any point when it's time to get a new tenant, you're going to have to do a big old renovation. I mean, look at this house. This person has, you know, they're, they're kind of living in squalor, right? So if the cash flow keeps coming in, there's really no reason to push it away and drop 35K. Let's go ahead and wait, right? What's going to happen if we wait? Well, eventually those interest rates are probably going to go down, right? So we're going to eventually have this person turn. Eventually this person's going to move out. At that time, I think we're going to need to spend about $35,000, right? I don't know exactly what it looks like, but I'm assuming a full turn is going to be needed in there. So floors, walls, kitchen, bath, new roof, right? Should be able to knock all of that out for about 35K, right? So that, again, will eventually put us into the investment at 63,000. Is that going to be a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, five years from now, seven years from now? I don't know. But using today's valuation, when we put the 28K, uh, well, the 28K purchase price, and then when we put a 35K renovation into this, we'll be all in at 63. But at that point, when we would bring in a lender, the property, if you're using today's valuations, would appraise at 75000 most likely, right? So if you're doing the math at home, that's a creation of $12,000 in equity, $12,000 of pure value that we created by doing that renovation. How many years of cash flow did we get to collect before that, right? Probably a lot, right? And, you know, that's who's, who's to say in 5, 10 years from now, if that's how long it takes, the property is only worth 75. It could be worth like 100 at that time. I, I, I'm not going to tell you I know what the valuation of this house is going to be in 10 years, but uh, it should be worth more than it's going to be worth today. And if we renovated the sucker today, it'd be worth about 75, right? So we're going to be creating at least $12,000 possibly more, right? Plus all those years of cash flow just operating without doing a renovation while the current person's in there, right? But if you run the numbers, uh, it, it's an amazing deal as a bird deal, right? You're all in at 63. You get it to appraise at a minimum. I'm thinking of 75K. That means the bank gives you back 56. That's a 52.2% cash on cash return, not even uh, taking into account any of the cash flow you got prior uh, to actually spending that money when eventually that tenant turned, right? So that's why it's going to be like a slow motion burn. There is no reason to kick a guy who's paying money out just to do a renovation. Eventually that guy's going to move out. At that point, you do your renovation, and then you do your cash-out refi. And I'm going to guess interest rates are not going to be nearly as high at that time down the line as they are today, right? Like today we're dealing with like interest rates that are – like record increases, right? We're, we're dealing with record increases in such a short period of time. The mortgage rates should be less volatile at that time, right? So all told, 
This deal makes you money in so many different ways over the course of the next several years uh, into the next like decade or so. So it's a banger of a deal. And if we could pick it up at 28K, since it's you know tiny and kind of sketchy looking, dude, that would be a monster deal. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.